I want to thank Brother Jesse, Jesse Gray, for the invitation to come here this afternoon and participate in this rally, which I believe is for the good of the community, the good, the good of the black community. And anything that's good for the black community, the white man should realize it is good for his community. Uh, Jesse Gray is one of the key persons in the Harlem area, primarily because he's dealing with one of the key problems, the problem of housing. It doesn't make any difference what else you have. If you don't have some place to rest your head, you're in bad shape. Here in Harlem, the reason we say that housing is such a, a key problem, when you live in a poor neighborhood, you're living in an area where you have to have poor schools. When you have poor schools, you have poor teachers. When you have poor teachers, you get a poor education. And when you get a poor education, you, you are uh, destined to be a, a poor man and a poor woman the rest of your life. Poor education, you can only work on a poor paying job. And that poor paying job enables you to live again in a poor neighborhood. So it's a very vicious cycle. And usually these uh, uh, bad housing conditions result from the fact, as Mr. Gray has pointed out, of absentee landlords, people who are rich and live downtown and let you and I live up here in the shack. Actually, it's a form of 20th century slavery. And what you and I have to... There's been a lot of talk uh, said recently can, when, uh, because I was supposed to have said something about Negroes should buy rifles. White people have been buying rifles all their lives. No commotion. I see an editorial right here in a paper they call the Journal America. One that we happen to have a suit for, suit against for around six million dollars for saying the wrong thing a few years ago. It says that uh, we're, some, we're supposed to be organizing some kind of Negroes to arm themselves with rifles and shotguns for self-defense. America is based upon the right of people to organize for self-defense. This is in the Constitution of the United States. You read it for yourself. Brother James had the Constitution. He brought the Constitution in with him. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, what, what is that? No, what article is that? Second uh, Amendment. The Second Amendment to the Constitution uh, spells out the right of people under this particular governmental system to have arms to defend themselves. All of you know I'm not an integrationist. I'm a believer in the Honorable Elijah and follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Right. I'm still a Muslim. My religion is Islam. Right. I run into some obstacles in the nation of Islam and I feel that I can best serve the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's purpose and program and carry into uh, existence what I feel, I understand, concerning his objectives better on the outside than I can on the inside. And, and now that I have the independence of action, it's my intention to work with everybody or against everybody, whatever the case may be, to try and get some kind of immediate solution to the problems that are confronting our people. I still believe the best thing for us to do is go back home to Africa. But while we're getting ready to go back, we've got to eat now, we've got to sleep now, we have to have some clothes now, our children have to go to school and we need some place to work. So whatever kind of action program can be devised to get us the things that are ours by right, then I'm for that kind of action no matter what the action is. I don't think when a man is being criminally treated, that some criminal has the right to tell that man what tactics to use to get the criminal off his back. 
when a criminal starts misusing me, I am going to use whatever necessary to get that criminal off my back. And the injustice that has been inflicted upon Negroes in this country by Uncle Sam is criminal. Don't blame a cracker in Georgia for your injustices. The government is responsible for the injustices. The government can bring these injustices to heart.